This is an interesting tweet. It says, think about this. We went from millions to billions to trillions to quadrillion. Fiat currency backed by nothing, created out of thin air by fractional banking. It's all a Ponzi scheme and it always fails. AMC apes will be in the right side of history though. So keep in mind, guys, as far as the derivative market goes, we are talking in the quadrillions. These numbers are so big, it's mind-boggling. And this whole thing is being held up by almost nothing. Be careful, apes, because it is about to get crazy out here. Some new tweets to go through. The second anyone tries to debate me about AMC, Moe has seen to numbers like 20,000 per share. And beyond, they begin the argument with the words, but the fundamentals. And I immediately end the conversation. This has never been a fundamentals play. And although this ape has a point, this really has not been a fundamentals play as far as the MOS, as far as the short squeeze goes. But I will speak for myself as a shareholder. Over the last months and as times went on, the fundamentals of AMC, in my humble opinion, have gotten better and better. So saying that it's not a fundamental play at all, in my opinion, is sort of short-sighted, but this ape has a point here. Here's the thing. They said we must sell before the market can recover. We refused. The logical consequence is to create a shiny attraction to move our invested money away from AMC, just like GNS. And this ape is referring to what's going on with GNS. I want you guys to comment down below. There's a lot of apes that are not really too sure of the genius stock and everything that's going on with the naked short selling campaign and everything in between. Comment down below what you think. There's a lot of correlation in this guy's check out this tweet. It says, if a thief steals your wallet. With $1,000 and is caught, the police give back the $1,000 to you and the thief gets jail time or a large fine. In the stock market, when a thief is caught, the thief pays $10 fine to the police from your $1,000, keeps the rest, and is free to steal again. So this is correlating to exactly how the fines take place to many hedge funds that have committed fraud or other things in the past. Let's say, for example, a bank or a hedge fund gets caught committing fraud for $50 million or $50 billion. A lot of times we're seeing these exact funds hit with like a half a million or $2 million fine, and then business is back to usual. How does that logically make sense in any sort of universe? Please tell me, guys.